Here's a cool audio trick that I picked up from a workmate a few years ago. This one isn't necessarily a Pro Tools tip, but it is a tip that uh, you can use in programs outside of Pro Tools and then drop it back into Pro Tools or into any other DAW for that matter and do some interesting stuff with. See, years ago I was told about this um, really interesting standalone freeware time stretching program. You would uh, drop an audio file into this program and it would uh, do some crazy time stretching stuff. And I was, I was blown away. Anyway, fast forward a few years and I was reading through the changelog for the program Audacity. You know, not a fantastic program in its own right, but it's free and it's worth keeping on your system for those times that you don't want to really open up a Pro Tools project for just a quick job. Anyway, I was reading their changelog for Audacity and I discovered that they had integrated this freeware program into their program. And I was like, yeah, awesome, great. And it's still in there now. Now, the standalone program was called and the, uh, the integration into Audacity is called Paul Stretch. Now, it, it's got some really interesting features for ambient sounds. You can do some really otherworldly stuff in it. I use it for work parts, for promos, so I'll make it in Audacity, and then I'll drop it back into Pro Tools and just add it to what other stuff I've got in there for a really interesting sound that you can't necessarily get in Pro Tools, at least not for free. No, no way for free. I've used it a few times, and I'll tell you about one particular time a little bit later. But I showed that to a workmate of mine, and he said, nice. And I said, did it in Audacity? And he was like... Audacity did that? Yeah, it's that level of cool. I'll show you. Um, I've just got two audio clips here from the uh, Sound Ideas Series 6000 library that I bought a few years ago. Just fantastic. Arrived from Canada in like three days to Australia. From Can it was Anyway, I ramble. Um, now, I've just got the sound of a dot matrix printer. Let's just open that in Audacity. Open with Audacity. And this is what it sounds like. Yeah, you get the idea. You remember what a dot matrix program, a dot matrix printer sounds like. But let's see what happens when I go effect, pull stretch, uh, stretch factor by 16. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's just go OK. It'll take a little minute because, you know, it does. In the meantime, we can imagine there's a guy called Paul who's really good at stretching. His IT bands are amazing because he does Pilates by night. Um, now, OK, let's have a listen to it now. Love it. Very cool. Like I said, hang on. Yeah, that's some next level otherworldly stuff. I love it. Anyway, so that's a dot matrix printer. Slow down by 16 times. And yeah, it sounds like it's got a bit of reverb or something on it as well to uh, mask the artifacts, but that's just part of the awesomeness. Let's try it with another effect. Got some debris, and it just sounds like this. Yeah, you get the idea. Let's time stretch this one. Uh, effect, pull stretch. Let's do just by 10 times this time. So that's a bit quicker. Okay, pull stretching. Okay, let's have a listen. Mm, yeah, you see? You could do some great work parts with that. This would build up in a transition. You'd sort of start it here and then Boom, you'd hear the, the feel-good hit of the summer or something. And uh, it'd be a great work part for radio. You could do this. I don't know. You tell me. What did you? What would you do with this? What have you done with this? What I did a few years ago was I... Um, it was back when Lord was first starting out, the, the singer Lord. And um, we had... I was working on a syndicated radio show where I think we were interviewing her or giving away tickets or something. And it was when that song Royals first came out. It was huge, right? And uh, it was, uh, you know, that one that goes, we'll never be royal. And the background vocal goes, royal, better than I can do. But, you know, there's a reason why I'm not a, uh, a big singer. But uh, what I did was I took an a cappella version of that and I took that royal, the background vocal, and I time stretched that by 16 times. And then I dropped it over a, uh, an instrumental remix of Royals. And I used that in the intro to the, uh, to the Lord interview. 
and I dropped with the after I had the uh, the music bed and I put the uh, the time stretched lead vocal background vocal over it. It just gave this really cool atmospheric thing atmospheric thing that I then put a voiceover on top of, and it just sounded absolutely fantastic. I would show you here, but YouTube copyright. I'll, I'll leave that for you to maybe try for yourself, or maybe you've done some other things. I'd love to know what you've done with Paul Stretch. Let me know in the YouTube comments or in the LinkedIn comments, because I share these things on LinkedIn. And if you do like this, please feed me a thumb. Let me know that you like it. If, if the thumb goes the other way, that's okay too. Just let me know. And uh, I'd uh, love to know your feedback about this or any of the other videos. I've got a heap of videos on my YouTube channel, or you can check them out as well on my website, andymar.com. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.